Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the sequential process in PLC by considering a typical example and also I will teach you how to draw the ladder diagram for these type of processes. So this is the process that is given to us and in order to understand this at the first place we need to know what is a sequential process, isn't it? So sequential process is a process which takes place one after the other. So there is a specific set of steps that needs to be followed and the entire operation should be followed according to those steps. So let us consider this example by looking at the problem statement and correlating with how this is actually implemented in industries and draw the ladder diagram for it. So they've given us a sequential task that is at the first place we have to press the start button so once the start button is pressed table motor is started so the motor starts which is connected through a conveyor and what happens is that the package starts moving to a position of the limit switch and automatically starts so the package starts moving in this particular fashion and stops once it reaches the limit switch so limit switch is basically a sensor that detects uh, once the package uh, has reached a specific position it becomes uh, equal to logically high state that corresponds to one in this case so other auxiliary features that are supposed to be included is a stop push button uh, that will stop the table for any reason before the packages reaches the limit switch push uh, limit switch position so we need to have a stop push button as well a red light to indicate the table is stopped over here and a green light to indicate that the table is running so we have to draw the ladder diagram for this process so how do we do that it's very simple guys um, I would uh, suggest you to pause this video and uh, try this example on your own because we've already seen two different examples previously this will be pretty much straightforward for you guys in case you're not able to figure it out don't worry I will be explaining it in this video all right so the ladder diagram can be drawn in this particular fashion so if you carefully observe how do we analyze these type of ladder diagrams so how do we justify this is the right ladder diagram for the sequential process that is given according to the question so at the first place these are normally closed contact I am indicating them in green because whichever is initially energized they are indicated as green and whichever are not energized will be indicated in red throughout my example so if you carefully observe the entire process is in halt isn't it so red light is closed indicating that nothing is started and uh, the system is at stop position now what I will be doing is once I press the start push button this contact will get energized because it was initially open now it acts as closed circuit and acts as short circuit consequently the rung corresponding to it will be energized isn't it and there is a path now for the current to flow and consequently the internal relay will get energized so the reason why I am using an internal relay is to have that connected to a motor in this particular fashion I'll be using an internal relay over here so we can directly give it to motor as well uh, but uh, if we give it through relay it will be giving us an additional protection for the process so that is why we'll be giving it in this particular fashion so we will be giving it to through relay and what happens is according to the concept of latching this IR also gets triggered because the same address will be used so if the uh, particular state here goes to 1 then this will also go to 1 because I'm using the same address that is IR is used and IR is used here as well as a result the rung also gets energized so in case you have not understood the concept of latching please to refer to one of my videos where I've explained it clearly so once that is done same address is used here as well so again this will also get energized same address is used here as well IR so this will also get energized but if you carefully observe here it gets de-energized because I'm using a normally closed contact because IR was energized here since a normally closed contact which was initially short circuit will act as open circuit as a result this entire rung gets de-energized and the red light comes to a stop at this position since IR is energized this rung gets energized and green star green light starts glowing again since IR is energized the motor starts rotating so once the motor starts rotating what happens the package starts moving isn't it at some point it will reach the limit switch let us say it has reached the limit switch now and consequently the limit sensor will indicate uh, that the uh, package has reached this position and what happens it becomes uh, energized and at that time which was normally closed contact 
acts as open circuit because it is a normally closed contact so it was initially closed once it is energized it will act as open circuit consequently supply to the internal relay is now cut off because if this is open circuit current cannot be flowing through this path isn't it as a result the internal relay will act as uh, like in off condition as a result if you carefully see all the IR now will become de-energized in this particular fashion so once that is done uh, the green light corresponding the rung gets de-energized and the green lights stop turning so this is open since this axis open circuit the entire rung will be open circuited and the motor stops rotating and once the motor stops rotating the package will no longer move further from the limits which isn't it and if you carefully observe this becomes in green condition because it was actually open circuited and once it has gone from 1 to 0 that is 0 state consequently it will again be energized and it lacked a short circuit and as a result the rung will get energized in this particular fashion and the red light starts glowing indicating that the process is at halt position similarly the entire process takes place even if you press the start stop push button at any point of time the red light will be turned on so you can analyze that on your own i hope this concept is clear and this is how we have to analyze these type of circuits start from one end and go till the end where the problem statement can be read point by point and consequently you will be able to analyze this in a very simple manner. I hope this video gives you a clear understanding of sequential process in PLC and how to draw the ladder diagram for it. If you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video please do support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video. Thank you.